In this nine hole video, you're gonna learn exactly how I play on the course, how to read the greens, club selection, how to utilize the wind, how to understand the slope of the green, how to get better wedge shots, how to overcome bad shots, and how to stay focused. Okay, let's get straight into it. Am I missing a club? Like a pretty open fairway. If I miss hit my shot, it's gonna go right. So I'm gonna aim a little left, maybe right edge of that tree on the left hand side and try and just hit a normal straight shot. And if I do hit it bad, it's just gonna feed off to the right, which is not a problem. Ah, uh, see that's my bad shot there. Okay, not your ideal second shot, but I think I've still got a shot into the green. Um, there's a tree branch just getting in the way in front of me. I'm just gonna try and hit a 52 degrees, try and keep it low, keep the ball back of my stance, and try and kind of just punch it, and hopefully just rolls up to the green. Ah, oh, okay, I didn't really keep it low enough. Damn. Okay, pretty easy chip shot here. I don't have a lot to work with, so I'm gonna hit it 60 degrees. Open the club face a little bit, and then try and get it to pop up, and land it soft. Whew, beautiful. I don't think I need to explain how to tap in. Thank you. Not bad. I think that's the difference between an amateur golfer and a scratch golfer. They're able to kind of um, make up for around the greens. Um, second hole, 259 meter par four, pretty short. It's a slight dog leg left. So I'm gonna have to aim right and try and hit a draw. So when I hit a draw, I try and keep my upper body staying behind the ball. It just kind of helps me to release the club after impact. So I'm just gonna aim at these dead trees on the right hand side and try and bring it in. Didn't really draw, but that was a good shot. Oh, pretty good. Okay, I went a bit long because I thought it was 354 meters, not 254. But that's okay, just green side chip shot. I'm um, on a pretty good lie. There's a little ridge just short of the green. So the idea is to try and get it pretty high so that it can land just on the green and then let it roll out and use the slope to its advantage. We'll see. it that could be good okay it looks pretty straight uphill if anything it might just break touch to the right so I'm gonna aim inside left stand behind the ball and see that it lines up to my line pretty good ah oh, pushed it Ah, oh. okay, I'll take a par. Pretty disappointing for a short par four. That's okay, we move on. Another short par four, hole number three. It's a slight dog leg left. I can't really see the pin. So I'm just gonna lay up onto the fairway there. I think it's about 240 yards to that bunker. Uh, we've got four iron, just hit it down the middle. Oh, I flushed that. Beautiful. Beautiful drive. I have about 82 yards to the pin. And you know how I know? Because I'm using pinned rangefinder.
I will usually hit a full 60 here or a soft like quarter swing 60 but I think I'm just going to do a quarter swing with a 56 and land it short and kind of just roll up to the pin take, take a bit of spin off just checking that I've got the right club <laughs> That's going to be so good. Oh, long. Oh, it looks so good in the air. Okay, whenever I get a putt like this, I first go to the middle of this line. And you can kind of see the elevation of the green a bit more. You can see that the cup is tilting a bit more to the left. So the right edge is a bit higher. So I know this is breaking right to left. Get a good feel of this. Okay, so it's a downhill right to left. I'm gonna aim maybe a cup right. And this should be good. Oh. I think I read it right, but just didn't turn. Damn. It kind of just broke at the start and just straightened up at the end. Mm. I've got a lot to work with here. Open fairway. I'm just going to aim left. I think it's a dog leg right. So I'm just going to aim left, which is going to play perfectly for my fade. Oh, low cut. Okay, pretty good. I feel like I could have cut that a lot more. I didn't realize there was a lake here. <laughs> I mean, if I had known, I probably would have aimed at the lake and try and hit a high fade onto the green. A short chip shot. I'm gonna open the club face a bit, have the ball a little bit behind the stance so I can attack it in a bit of a steep angle, get some spin. Did that check? Not really, huh? Okay, pretty good approach shot. I don't think I really need to line this up. Pretty straight. Whew. My God, nearly leaped out. <laughs> number five pretty open fairway I think it's a slight dog leg left I'm gonna aim I could either okay if I was playing well I would probably aim right and try and hit a big high hook but because I'm trying to play conservative and try and show you exactly how I play I'm gonna aim left edge of that branch and try and hit a cut and try and keep it in play Oh, that drew a bit. Oh no, stay out of the trees. Please. Ah, oh, I don't know. I hit it good. I hit it straight down the middle, but... Oh. Okay, I'm on the wrong side of the fairway. I've got to try and hit it back into play. I still have a shot into the green. 165 yards to the pin. Nothing's really in the way. I think I can hit an eight iron up there. I'm in a bit of an uphill slope. So I know this is naturally going to draw, so I'm going to aim touch to the right to what I normally would and then just swing nice and easy. Oh my god, pushed it. Four! Alright, not too bad actually. A bit short. I'm going to bump and run this. So I'm going to place the ball behind my stance and try and cut down. Beautiful. Okay, uphill left to right. Hit this pretty firm. Oh. Oh, what? Oh my god. <sighs> Oh 
Okay, that's what you get for walking in putts. Unless you know you're 100% sure about your putt going in, do not walk it in. I deserve that. Okay, par three. This hole's pretty cool. Um, 213 meters. I've got five iron in my hand. Uh, I might change it up to a six iron. Okay, six iron in hand. I think it's OB left. So I really have to try and hit a cut here. So after impact, I try and hold my release so that it's pointing towards the target. Normally you would aim right and try and bring it in, but I feel more comfortable hitting a fade. Be good. Wow, that's really short. Okay, it wasn't actually that short. Not too bad. Another short-sided chip shot. I'm going to open the club face a little bit. Get the ball a little bit high in the air. Mm, caught that too nice. Okay, nothing too fancy. Uphill left to right. I'm just going to aim inside left. You don't want to give away the hole too much. And don't walk this in. And then walk to the ball. <laughs> Oh, this is pretty cool. I feel like I'm in the Amazon jungle. Wow, this hole looks so beautiful. Uh, there's a creek running through the fairway just over the ridge. I'm gonna have to do a smart play here and just lay up. Just gonna aim left and try and hit a cut. Haven't really been able to hit a cut all day, so hopefully this is the right one because it's out of bounds on the left. Oh, that's good. Should be short of the creek, I think. Okay, 152 yards to the pin, but it looks a lot shorter than that for some reason. Usually I'd hit an eight iron here, but I'm gonna go with a nine and try and hit a soft. You gotta use your instincts every now and then because you're always right. Okay, pin high. Another long part. I'm gonna go to the middle again and see what the slope is doing. I can see the right edge of the cup is higher than the left, so I know this is breaking to the left. I'm gonna aim maybe a cup right, downhill. Break, 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 break. Oh, good speed. <sighs> Just read it too much. That was a good part. You never want to miss it low and you never want to miss it short. Just remember that. This must be a temporary hole. 251 meter par four. Just feels way too short. Uh, eagle here would be great. Uphill, so it's playing around 280 meters. You know what, I'm gonna hit a driver here. Okay, I need to cut some distance with my driver here. So I'm gonna aim so far left open my club face and try and hit a big cut. Oh, that could be so good. Get on the green. I think she's dancing. Whew. Pretty good drive. You gotta have fun with your shot shapes, you know? I'm gonna open my club face a little bit, try and get it to land next to the pin and stop. That's why I'm only a scratch golfer. <sighs> Pop for a birdie to go one under front nine. I'm gonna go to the middle again, gauge the slope. I think it's breaking that way. I'm gonna aim maybe just outside left and hopefully it breaks in. Break, break. Break, break. Oh, I left so many pots out there. What's going on? 
As you can see, I left so many pots out there. I wish I could have played a little bit better, but I think that was a good round to show you guys exactly how I play on the course, what kind of shots I would play, and the reasons behind it. If you guys have any golf-related questions, please drop it down in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.